Hey guys, hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to create facial emotion detection system. So this is the system that will be created with Python and TensorFlow library. So we will provide the picture to our system and the system will detect the face inside that picture of that existing person and tell us about its emotions or facial emotion detection, right? So there are five kinds of emotion that we will be working on. So the first one is happy, the second is sad, the third is angry, the fourth is neutral and the fifth is nervous. So this, these are the emotions that we will be working. So the scenario behind the project is very simple. We will be providing the images and the system will detect the image and tell us the emotion of that person. So the project will going to be so much amazing. You just need to stay connected, stay tuned and watch till end. So let's go and start the project without wasting any time. Hey guys, let's start the video. So first of all, I want to show you the data set that I have stored all the images. I am going to share the link of this data set with you. So this is the face emotion data set where it is available in my Dropbox. First of all, you have to go onto the Google Colab and just click over the first link. Welcome to the collaboratory Google. Make sure that you have a Google account. First of all, you need to go onto your account and just open the Google Colab from that account. The thing that is very much needed right here is to create a new notebook and just rename that notebook on which we will be working on. So I am just going to rename it and I am going to give the name as Emotion Detection Application. Alright, so on the first tab, what we have to do is to give the URL of that data set. So I am giving it like exclamation mark WGET after that I have just put all the URL that I have mentioned inside the description box. Now this time we need to unzip that folder. So we have to write over here as exclamation of unzip and give the folder name in which all the pictures are saved. Now these are the inflating process of that images that has been inflated. I just want to take a single minute of you. Let me show you the roadmap we have created for the data scientists who want to become from scratch in three months. We have already created the roadmap for data engineering in three months for absolute beginners. And you can also see the data analyst course in two months, the roadmap a step by step guide. Not then even we have created the DevOps roadmap as well from a scratch in three months for all the people who are absolute beginners. So it is requested you to please go on to tuitiontonight.com and please visit this roadmap as well so that we can get the job as a junior data analyst or data engineer or data scientist in 2023. Now the thing that is very much important here is we have to import all the necessary libraries. So I am going to write here as import numpy, pandas, matplotlib, pyplot and all the keras uh, classes that are very much needed in this project. So from keras.layer we have been importing right here as flatten and dense and keras model and imp importing the model. We will also be using as a Keras pre-processing image where we will be importing the image generator and image to array. Other than that, we will be using the load image class as well. The next thing is keras.application.mobilenet from there we will be importing the mobile net and pre-process input
all right after just creating all above things so we have just little bit amended the class where all the libraries that have been expired so we have just revised the import files right so make sure to please subscribe tuition tonight and make sure to please import all the specified classes as mentioned above first thing first we need to build the model to train the data so first of all we need uh, to create a little chunks of code that will help us to build the model to train the data so we are taking the base model is equals to more mobile net where the input shape is 24 24 by 3 include top equals to 4 and we are just giving it the loop where we will be just iterating all our thing and writing here as layer or trainable equals to false now the flatten should be the base model dot output and the dense where the parameter should be unit equals to 7 activation function should be softmax right now here we are creating the model so first thing is to just create a model there is a single mistake that should be mobile net right so it is just giving us the it has just successfully run the cell and now we are compiling our model model dot compile the parameter should be optimizer is equals to adam loss is equals to categorical cross and trophy and the matrices should be accuracy I guess there is some mistake all right so the mistake is in the spelling of matrices so it has a matrix right so we have just compiled the tab successfully now we are preparing the data right so we are just preparing the data in order to prepare the data you have to create a single variable with the name of our train underscore data generation where we will be calling our class image data generator where the zoom range should be 0.2 and the shear range should also be 0.2 and the horizontal flip should be true other than that we will be rescaling by one dot divided by 255 right so we are just preparing the data now we have to create a single variable with the name of a train data that should be train data gen dot flow underscore from directory now the directory path should be visible right here and it is also stored in our folder inside the google collab so we have just put the parameter path as content inside the content folder we will get train folder as well where all the images should be stored the target size should be 244 by 244 the batch size should be 32 so after just compiling that cell it is showing us that 28,709 images belonging to seven classes and as you can see that inside the train there are almost one two three four five six seven folders of emotion that is angry disgust fear happy neutral sad and surprise so these are the classes and this is where we will be working on now what we have to do is to create a single variable with the name of well underscore data gen is equals to image data generator and inside the rescaling we have to put one dot divide by 255 just copy and paste here but you have to change the train and replace it with test because we need to have our test folder as well where all those equal folder that have been already in our train should be placed inside the test right so now equivalent folder are already here so we are just creating and shifting over the next part now we are just going to work over data visualization here we need a single a variable with the name of a t underscore image and the second variable should be label so we are just giving the labels to our images where will be the train data dot next the function should be called now we are creating another function with the name of a plot image here we are giving the count of 
zero starting from zero and from img for img comma l and zip and inside the zip we just pass the two variables of image underscore arr comma label uh, inside then we are just calling the we are just calling the conventional name of matplotlib as plt so that plt will help us to show everything inside the graphical view so plt dot i am show inside that uh, parameter we are just giving img so the plt or title should be image there is some error right here so we just have to pass the parameter here as img underscore arr and the other thing that we need to give as parameter is label there is another error right here is on line number six so there is a spelling mistake that should be image right so as you can now see that the plt is helping us to show the images inside the graphical view so the plt uh, convention is helping us to show the images because it is the convention we have created inside our import libraries for matplotlib now we are creating the model checkpoint to apply the early stopping Now for the model checkpoint to apply the early stopping we are just calling the keras.callbacks function and importing the model check count comma early stopping right so now es is for early stopping and early stopping have multiple parameters as monitor of value accuracy minimum delta is 0.01 patient should be 5 verbose equals to 1 and mode should be auto for the model checkpoint we need to create a single variable with the name of ms model checkpoint is our function the file path should be bestest underscore model dot h5 and the monitor equals to well accuracy verbo should be one and safe best only should be true and the mode should also be auto right all right now what we have to do is to just right here as callbacks equals to es and ms inside that parameter it is just giving us some error right here so let's just save the file and just run the file it is just showing us an error that there is some issue cannot be import name as model checkpoint there is a spelling mistake that should be point all right so it is just giving us an error again so there is a typo mistake it should be ms not mc now on the next cell we are just going to create the history so we are just giving the variable name as history is equals to model dot fit generator inside the parameter we have to pass some um, parameters as train data steps per epoch equals to 10 epoch equals to 30 validation underscore data equals to val data other than that we will be giving the parameter as validation step equals to 8 now just call just copy that callback function and just pass over there inside the parameter so when you just run the file it has starting the epochs so as we have given there as 30s epoch so it is just running the epochs step by step right so 10 is the step the eta loss and accuracy are the parameter that it has been showing us so the second epoch has been started out of 30 so the step 8 out of 10 has been completed 10 out of 10 has been completed now we are shifting on to epoch number 3 on 30 epoch 3 has been started again all the steps are working very fine so that as you can see the loss is getting decrease from 13.4 to 302 8.2475 and the accuracy has been increased from the previous step as 0.2812 to at second epoch and if you compare it with third so it just gave you 0 
all right so it is just running the epox very well so just wait for a little while to complete this process here it will just take little bit time it depends upon the internet efficiency and the speed so you just need to be a little patient and just wait for a while Alright guys, so the Epoch 9 has been completed but as you can see that the early stopping has been called. Right, so now you have to write on the next cell as from keras.model, import load underscore model and inside that model you have to pass the load underscore model and give the path that has been created on the left sidebar. You can see the bestest model.h5 we just have given the path directory inside that parameter of a load model we have to just put over here as h as variable is equals to history dot history right now you have to put the h dot keys it is just showing us an invalid index so we just have to put that path inside the inverted commas now what we have to do here is to just copy that and paste over here right so when you just call that it is just giving us a name load model is not defined all right so the data dictionary has been created for the keys as loss accuracy well loss and well accuracy right now what we have to do here is to create an op but i have just commented that line so don't worry about that we will be just uh, using that in a little bit of time in future so first we have to give the path of the image we are just taking the image from the test directory and just giving the variable name as img is equals to load image part dot target size equals to 244 comma 244 we are just creating another variable of i is equal to image underscore to underscore dot array image divided by 255 on the other line we are just creating a single variable with the name of input underscore arr equals to numpy dot array and inside that we have just passed the array of i right now the prediction variable is here pred is equals to np dot arg max inside that we have to put the model or prediction function and we have to pass the input underscore arr variable in which the numpy array has been stored so the thing very much important right here is the plt dot i am show in order to show that image that we are working over and we are just giving that image to him and we just want an answer that what will it give us so for that purpose you must need to use plt dot i am show right so the title should be input image and plt dot show will help you to show that image inside the graphical view so this is the image right so we haven't print anything right here just we have shown the image as you can see the image is from the angry folder so the person is little bit angry right here now what we have to do here is to just give something to work over because the op function is little commented here so it is not working right now so for that purpose we need to do something we have to write some chunks to make it workable for us right so plt dot plot h accuracy plt dot plot h well accuracy inside the c is equals to red and the title should be accuracy versus value accuracy what we are doing right here we just want to check the graph that what is the difference between accuracy and value accuracy so you can just see that uh, graphical view between these two comparisons right now let's check the value loss and loss as well we are just want to see that is our epoch and machine learning training has been work successfully or not so this time what we are going to write here is 
let's see so we have just changed the image right so the image has now been changed and it is also from the angry folder just we have to do here is uncomment that line of op and just print this line in order to check whether it will tell us the right prediction of that image or not so when you just check the image it is showing us the answer the image is of angry it is showing us the right answer right now but it will not be right every time so let's just change the image again and this time we will be taking the image from another folder that is happy so let's just take another image from another directory and let's check whether it will just show the answer correct or not so just rename rename that image copy the image name just change the image name right here paste that image save the file run the cell again and when you just run the cell again there is some error right here it is just showing us the directory path is invalid all right so basically we have done a little mistake that that file is from the happy folder but we have just given the wrong path right here so we have to write here happy because that file is not available in angry folder so this is the file from the happy folder but it is giving us an answer the image is of fair it is not giving the right prediction this time so let's just change the image again copy the file path and just uh, change that file path inside the parameter and let's just check again so we have taken the image from happy folder this is the image and what is the answer the image is of happy this time it is giving us the right answer so every time when you just run the application it will give you the accuracy up to 85 percent so this is the entire application that we have created so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel tuition tonight and please share this video among your friend you can also use the entire source code that has been available in the description so don't worry about anything everything is in the description please hit the subscribe button and share this video among with your friend thank you